What's going on guys? Welcome to a new first timers video. I'm Alvin, your host for today. Now today I want to talk about this particular video project that took me some time to edit because I had an issue with this product, which was a Mr. Gasket Universal Throttle Cable. Now usually I try not to talk bad about any products, but I do plan to make some comparisons throughout this video between the Mr. Gasket Universal Throttle Cable and the Spectre Performance Universal Throttle Cable. Please keep in mind that both products are very similar, but I will show you some differences between the two manufacturers. And before I get too far, I did want to give you an explanation of a term pop metal that I do use throughout this video. Pop metal, or as some call it monkey metal, is an alloy of multiple low melting point metals that manufacturers and or automotive repair shops would melt in a pot, hence the name pop metal. In short, it is used to make fast, inexpensive castings. I just wanted to let you guys know the meaning of pop metal and want to clarify that I don't know the materials that these products are made out of. So that's why I use the term. The only information that was given on both sites was the housing material, which says plastic and stainless steel. Day two. Now, we all know what happened. Um, pretty much was tightening this down literally snapped it right off um, very cheap metal I just wanted to kind of showcase the um, the particular braiding material looks actually nicer on the spectra material so it does actually have a very nice feel to it um, as you're looking at both of them here the spectra looks a hair thicker um, it feels a little stronger uh, so it doesn't you know the um, mr. gasket kind of felt like it was a little flexible and also when you get up to the nut part you can definitely see that it does have a nicer feel and also when I'm screwing it on and off it doesn't bind. Now the Mr. Gasket I did have a little bit of an issue where it kind of felt like it was binding as I was trying to turn it on but the threads were fine so there was no issues there but overall it actually does have a very nice feel and look to it so that actually is very exciting to me in that sense. Um, now when we get to the holes, now you're going to notice that the spectra is actually nicely centered, everything looks really clean. Now the, you know, the Mr. Gasket, the hole is off to the side, um, it's not perfect whatsoever. And like I said, this screw, as I'm trying to like take it off, it doesn't want to come off, but that, that hole just looks really bad. And also the, um, the, spec the spectra just has a, like, a different shine to it, it doesn't look like it's like cheap metal. So that is actually very exciting. Now that we move over to um, kind of just like installing the part, uh, I definitely want to say that I am not going to, you know, just go Superman tight on this little nut. But like I said before, on the Mr. Gasket, I felt like I wasn't going that tight and it actually just snapped. But we'll give it a shot again. You know, maybe I should have just bought factory. After buying two of these parts, I probably could have got a factory piece and it would have probably been better. But um, again, I felt that you know an after you know a nice aftermarket braided uh, piece would look nice in here. I do plan to at least swap the carburetor to an Edelbrock, so um, hopefully we'll uh, get into that at some point. But overall, this does have a very like I said very nice feel and look to it. I do at some point want to run a lock washer versus a regular washer, but like I said, this is this is all temporary just to make sure that the car is running and I can move it in and out of the driveway and all that fun stuff here. So, you know, as I'm tight, you know, as I'm screwing it down, it doesn't look like it's going to be uh, too crazy, but I am at the point where I just kind of want to, um, I kind of want to run it down a little bit with my fingers and I don't want to use any tools just yet. So I just want to make sure it feels good and then we'll jump into actually running a tool. So I'm going to use an open end adjustable here. And the main reason I want to do that is I just want to make sure that I get it, you know, not super tight, but I can use the weight of the wrench to help kind of just guide it down just a little bit. But again, like I said, I'm not going to go too tight. We'll jump into the video audio just so you guys can hear me there as well. So, you know, talk about how it was, you know, right during that experience. good but what I might try to put on here is a lock washer on this side just so it doesn't want to come off but we'll worry about that later I just want to get it snugged on there and feeling good it feels pretty tight right now keep in mind I did not put that much pressure <laughs> it's literally literally just trying to turn it 
it slightly but I don't want to snap like I snap the other one like I did so this is just like very loose it still feels like it wants to turn some more not gonna do that I'm not gonna mess it up like I did last <laughs> So at this point, I figured I would let you guys, uh, you know, hear it run and kind of see the cable actually in action here. Um, but it is uh, pretty much straightforward. Uh, the install, you know, that's why I didn't, I didn't really want it to be about kind of like an install video, but just kind of being able to kind of just see my issues I had with one of the products and what you might have with a lot of these uh, rated cable throttle cables. But uh, just make sure you just don't over tighten because you can snap them off pretty crazy. Now the beauty with the kits that I did purchase, um, overall they pretty much had everything in there, um, you know, to go to the factory uh, factory location on the carburetor here. So that was kind of cool, but I know some other people might have to buy some other accessories such as um, cable linkages and um, actual like a cable holder and all that fun stuff. But this one I just didn't have to worry. But anyway guys, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. And hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, definitely throw them in the comments below.